What's going on, ladies and gents? Hopefully, y'all been staying motivated, staying inspired, and investing in yourself. Today, we're gonna be diving into my $4,400 Robinhood portfolio. And if you are new to the channel and you like stock market investing, passive income, and investing in yourself type videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. And we're starting right now. Welcome back to the channel, Mike the Investor, helping you invest in yourself today. So hopefully you all been staying motivated, staying inspired and investing in yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Robinhood portfolio. And as you can see, my portfolio value is $4,401.96. On the day during market hours, I was up $22.73, which is 0.52%. After hours, I was up $2.46, which is 0.6%. On the week here, I am up $33.76. 79 cents, which is 0.77%. On the month here, I am up $185.68, which is 4.40%. So not a bad gain there on the month. And as we look at the three month mark, you can see I am up even more $216.36. And that is 5.17%. So not bad for the three month mark. And as we look at the year, you can see I am up just over 8%. So that is incredible to be in the stock market for under a year. And the S&P on average grows from seven to 9% on average. And right now my capital gain is up over 8%. So that is pretty impressive, not including the dividends that I get every single month as well. So as you can see, it is $326.56. And as we go over to the all time, I am up $322.44, which is 7.90%. So let me know down in the comment section how you like those gains for a completely all dividend portfolio. So let's go ahead and take a look at all my stocks and see how they've been doing. As you can see, it just turned black. So the stock market is completely closed now. And feel free to check out any of the links down in the description. I have $15 for you that's free. Also a free stock using the Robinhood app. So feel free at any time of this video to check out some of those links. And let's go ahead and dive into the portfolio. So if you watch my last full dividend portfolio overview, you know I organize my stocks based off the dividend years of growth so it goes dividend kings my dividend aristocrats and then my closest to becoming dividend aristocrats and so forth and so on so if we look at procter and gamble here i have my two shares it is currently at 123 dollars and 48 cents my two shares average cost is 109 dollars and 98 cents my equity is 246 dollars and 96 cents my portfolio diversity is 5.61% and my total return is $27, which is 12.27%. So not bad on that return on just two shares. They have grown their dividend for 63 years and they are a super powerhouse. So now as we look at the next stock, Johnson & Johnson, my next dividend king in my portfolio, I have one share. My average cost is $129.10. It is almost 3% of my portfolio. My equity is $129.18. And I am just eight cents right now on Johnson & Johnson. And as you can see on the stats, their 52 week high is just shy of $149. And their 52 week low is $121. So as we look at Coca-Cola, the next dividend king in my portfolio, I have four shares of Coca-Cola. My average cost is $51.90. 96 cents. My total equity is $214.28. My portfolio diversity is 4.87%. And my total return is $6.44, which is 3.10%. As we look at the next dividend king, which will be ABM, as we scroll down, I have five shares. My average cost is $37.26. My equity is $188.55. My portfolio diversity is 4.28%. My total return is $2.24, which is 1.20%. And the last dividend king in my portfolio, which would be Altria, which I like to call the unqualified dividend king. And if you're wondering why I call it that, I will put a card up right here for you. So that way you can check out that video. It's a collaboration with one of my good friends, Ryan. So be sure to check out his channel as well. So as we scroll down to Altria, you can see my four shares. I have an average cost of $47.76. My total equity is $183.68. My portfolio diversity is 4.6%. 
17% and my total return, I am just down $7.37, which is 3.86%. So that is the last dividend king in my portfolio. So now let's go ahead and take a look at my dividend aristocrats here, starting with Leglet and Platt. So we're gonna go ahead and check out them. I have two shares. My average cost is $37.64. My total equity is $92.32. My portfolio diversity is 2.10%. My total return is $17.04, which is 22.64%. So not bad on just the two shares on Leglet and Platt. And they have been growing their dividend for 46 years. So they will be becoming a dividend king here shortly. And as we look at my next dividend aristocrat, AT&T, they have been on a tear lately. They just hit a 52 week high. As you can see, they are $38.54. As we scroll down to my position, I have five shares. My average cost is $31.25. My total equity is $192.70. My portfolio diversity is 4.38%. And as we look at my total return, it is $36.43, which is 23.31%. So not bad for AT&T, a really nice capital gain. I also have a pretty nice dividend yield coming from AT&T as well. As we scroll down, you can see November 1st, they will be paying me $2.55. So not bad on five shares of AT&T. As we take a look at the next dividend aristocrat, which will be ADM, Archer, Daniels, and Midland. As we scroll down, I have four shares. My average cost is $39.02. My total equity is $165.20. My portfolio diversity is 3.75%, which will give my total return $9.13, which is 5.85%. So this is another dividend aristocrat that deals with a lot of agriculture cultural products and land and things like that. So very stable. The media did hit them a little bit during the Fed rate cut, but I think for the long term, Archer Daniels and Midler will be a good investment. Now, as we take a look at the last dividend aristocrat in my portfolio, it is a utility Aqua America. They have grown their dividend for 25 years. And as we look at my position, I just have one lonely share. My average cost is $39.86. My total equity is $44.90. My portfolio diversity is just about 1% and my total return is $5.04 on just that one share, which is 12.64%. So there, that gives you all of my dividend kings and my dividend aristocrat, starting with Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, ABM, Altria, Glett & Platt, AT&T, ADM, and Aqua America. So some pretty strong stocks in my personal opinion. They have been doing very well. They constantly keep growing that dividend as well. So be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of those growth stocks that I hold. Starting with UPS here, I have just the one share. As we go into my position here, I bought them at an average cost $114.69. My total equity is $116.25. My portfolio diversity is 2.64% and my total return is $1.56, which is 1.36%. So as we move over to Starbucks, they have been creeping down a little bit. So hopefully we get a buying point here in the future. So as we go down to my position, I just have one share. My average cost is $88.70. My total equity is $83.68. My portfolio diversity is 1.90%. My total return, I am down $5.02, which is equivalent to 5.66%. Moving over to the all-time Disney, I have one share of Disney as well. My average cost is $129.30. My total equity, $130.60. And my total return is $1.30, which is equivalent to 1.01%. As we look at Sony, I just have one share of Sony. My average cost, $47.78. My equity is $59.06. My portfolio diversity, 1.34%. My total return, $11.28 on just one share, which is equivalent to 23.61%. As we look at Pfizer, I had 10 shares. My average cost, $39.05. My total equity is $374.80. My portfolio diversity is 8.52%. My total return, I am down $15.67, which is equivalent to 4.01%. And I believe Pfizer is the company that I am down the most on, but I'm completely okay with that if the company is going to be Pfizer because that just gives us more time to take advantage of this dip. 
Now, before we get into my monthly paying stocks, let's go ahead and look at Bank of America here. They have been on a soar lately as well, sitting at $31.84. As we go down to my position, I have eight shares. My average cost is $27.16. My equity is $254.72. My portfolio diversity is 5.79%. As we look at my total return, it is $37.48, which is equivalent to 17.25%. So that's a pretty nice return on my capital appreciation for Bank of America. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my monthly stocks here. Starting with Realty Income, as we go into my position here, I have two shares. My average cost is $68.51. My equity is $161.76. My portfolio diversity is 3.68%. My total return, I am up $24.74 on just two shares. Looking at Main Street Capital, a business development company, also known as a BD. I have two shares of Main Street Capital. My average cost $40.20. My total equity $86.20. My portfolio diversity is 1.96%. And my total return is $5.81. As we look at Stag Industrial here, I have 10 shares. My average cost is $29.88. My equity is $309.20. My portfolio diversity is 7.3%. And my total return is $10.35. And as we look at the last individual monthly paying stock in my portfolio will be Apple Hospitality REIT. I have 10 shares of Apple Hospitality as well. And my average cost is $15.95. My total return $163.80. My portfolio diversity is 3.72%. And my total return is $4.26. So not a bad capital appreciation on my monthly payers, not including the dividends that they pay me every single month. Now let's take a look at PetMed Express. I am up the most on out of all of my holdings on this company alone incredible growth on this company and I've been talking about them for about three months. I also did a brief analysis on this company so I will leave a card up here for you if you kind of want to know what I talked about on PetMed Express. So as you can see PetMed Express closed at $25.77. I had 10 shares. My average cost is $15.82. My equity is $257.70. My portfolio diversity is 5.86% and hold on, hold on. My total return is $99.55. And as you look at the percentage, it is 62.95%. So I've made over half of my investment back in just a few months. So that is incredible. It also makes me feel good to let me know that the research that I did do did pay off. But sometimes you still kind of never know what's going to happen with the stock. So let me know down in the comment section what you think about PetMed Express. Smash that like button for me. This is an incredible gain. The most gain I've ever seen on just one holding. So please smash that like button let me know what you think in the comment section and we're gonna keep moving so as we look at HP here I have five shares my average cost $18.74 my total equity is $88.15 and it is an even 2% of my portfolio diversity and as we look at the total return I am down 5.56% and as we scroll over to AES Corporation, which is a utility company, I have 10 shares. My average cost is $16.05. My equity is $169.80. My portfolio diversity is 3.86%. And my total return is $9.30. And I'm expecting a lot of growth from this company in the future. Now, as we look at the last four holdings in my portfolio, they are exchange traded funds, also known as ETFs. So as we look at SP. HD, Power Shares, S&P 500, High Dividend, Low Volatility ETF. They kind of cut it off, but that's how you pronounce it. I know it is a mouthful, but as we look at my position, I have two shares. My average cost, $41.93. My equity is $85.20. My total return is $1.34, and they also pay every single month. And as we look at SPYD, SPDR, Portfolio, S&P 500 high dividend ETF. So all of these dividends are almost about a mouthful. So as we look at my position here, I have five shares. 
My average cost is $36.73. My equity is an even $193. My portfolio diversity is 4.39%. My total return is $9.36 and they pay quarterly months 3, 6, 9, and 12. And as we look at the last two monthly paying ETFs in my portfolio, SDIV, which will be Global X Super Dividend ETF. And as we scroll down, I had 10 shares. My average cost is $17.18. My equity is $172.90. My portfolio diversity is 3.93%. My total return is $1.10. And as we scroll over to the last monthly paying ETF in my portfolio, Global X Super Dividend US ETF. And as I scroll down to my position, I also had 10 shares. My average cost is $22.47. My total equity is $236.10. My portfolio diversity is 5.36% and my total return is $11.40. So not a bad capital gain on all of my 26 dividend holdings. So that shows you how my portfolio is up 8%. So be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. I did make it a little bit longer just so I can go a little bit more in depth in all of my holdings so you can kind of see it all as my portfolio value grows so be sure to comment down low on what you guys think of the new update hopefully you all enjoyed this video and maybe gain some value from this as well so be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button and remember to stay inspired stay motivated invest in yourself and i will see you guys back next time